video, I'll guide you through the process of creating geographic heat maps using Altrix. First, let's import our data set into Altrix using the input data tool. I'm using a CSV data set that contains information about reported political violence in Africa, such as the event type, the number of fatalities, the latitude, location, and longitude of the event. As there are many data fields in this data set, we can use the select tool to include only relevant details as a large data set may affect performance and slow down the rendering of the heat map. Let's only keep these fields as the other fields may not be relevant. We need to ensure that fatalities, latitude, and longitude are in numeric data type. As they are in string data type, we need to change them accordingly. There are quite a number of event types in this data set, but I only want to visualize the heat map for riots and protests. We can use the filter tool to filter the event type to only riots and protests. Next, drag the create points tool into the workflow to convert the coordinates into a spatial object that objects can recognize. In the configuration, we will choose the appropriate field for longitude and latitude, which will help us to create the heat map. Here, our tricks has automatically chosen the correct fields for us. From the results output, we can see that there are some null longitude values. This means that there will be null centroid values too. As the heat map tool does not work, if our data has any records of missing centroids, we can use a filter tool to filter out any null centroids in the data set. After filtering, we can connect to the heat map tool. In the heat map tool configuration, we can adjust the parameters for grid size, maximum distance, and the output type. In the input tab, we need a field for the point field, which is spatial object field with points representing the heat sources. The heat field, which specifies how hot this particular point is, is optional. Here, select centroid as the point view and fatalities as the heat view. We can add a browse tool to the heat map and then click run to view the heat map output. Alternatively, we can use the report map tool to visualize the heat map and output it into a PDF document using the render tool. In the report map configuration under data tab, incoming connections number one, we can select the thematic field to be tau num and tau name as the label field. This will assign colors to the heat map according to the tau num. Under the layers tab, add a polygons layer and set the team to the following. Running the workflow will generate a PDF document with geographic heat map and legend. To make the visualization of the heat map better, you can output the spatial points as the Tableau data extract using the output tool.
Opening this tableau data extract, we can visualize it in tableau by dragging the spatial object to the detail card and town name to the color card and select better color palettes. So this is how we create a geographic heat map using our tricks.